Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, Antonelli here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. So today we're talking about first base and what to do around the bag, how to get to the bag, how to set up. It's kind of an undercoached uh, part of softball. Not a lot of coaches spend a whole lot of time on first base play or as much as they do on, say, you know, middle infield play or even third base play. And so let's talk about some of the basics. Get some of the things that probably aren't taught a whole lot. Okay, first thing is getting to the bag, okay? So when we're off the bag and we have to get to the bag, um, I want to sprint to the bag as quickly as I can, and I want to take my left foot. So before I even set up like this, I want to sprint to the bag, and I want to take my left foot. If you're a right-handed first baseman, left foot to the closest part of the bag that is to me, right? Because I want to get there as quick as possible. So I run hard. I get my left foot on the bag to this corner. If I'm playing back here, which you're going to be 90% of the time, I get my left foot on that corner of the base, and then I pivot, I turn inside here, and I just switch my feet. So I put my right foot where my left foot was, okay? So run hard with my left foot, turn inside, and just quickly switch feet and put my right foot there, and I'll be in this position just like this, right? The only difference is she's a little bit more towards this side of the bag. And so I always like to tell our righty first baseman, that you want to get your right foot to be on this part of the bag because it is the furthest from, it's the opposite side of your glove, right? So a ball thrown this way will be tougher for you because you've got to reach across your body, right? Your, your glove is on the other side of your body. And so I want to start there. Now, if the ball is thrown, let's say the shortstop has the ball and they throw it over to you and it's thrown to this side of the bag, well, then you can just slide your foot over quickly. Right, So your foot starts on this part of the bag for a right-hander, and now if the ball is thrown this way, you just quickly slide your feet over, just shuffle over, get your foot on the other side of the bag. Now you've just increased your range this way, right? and you can stretch and make the catch. All right, So that's the first thing. Now let's go for a lefty. For a lefty, the only difference is, you're going, to take, you're going to go to the bag, you're going to go to this part of the bag, right? Because your glove is going to be on this hand. And so you go for, to the opposite part of the bag from your glove. You put your left foot on the bag. And you don't have to, you don't have to switch feet because that's the foot you're going to um, be on the bag with. So you just go with your left foot on the bag, right? Turn inside, and you'll be good to go. All right? Now, again, you're going to be squared like this. It's important to be squared so that you can anticipate the throw. You can move your foot, right, for a righty. It's going to be their right foot. For a lefty, it's going to be their left foot. You can move it for the throw. Again, if you're a lefty and you're going to this side of the bag, like I just said, and the throw is this way, well, then you're just going to slide your feet this way, and you're going to keep your left foot in the bag, but you're going to be over more on the other side of the bag. Make sense, everyone? Okay. Now, Important with your foot. Your toes should be on the ground, right? So if you can see her feet, her toe, your toes should be on the, on the ground. Kind of the ball of your foot is going to be up against the base. The thing you want to make sure of is that your heel isn't way up on the base. I see that a lot with first baseman. Their heel gets too far on the base, and now there's not a lot of space for the runner to hit, and they get their heel stepped on a lot. All right, so make sure that that's not happening to you. Don't have your whole foot up on the base. Your toes should be on the ground. Just the kind of the ball of the foot should be up against the base. And obviously you're going to have a little bit of your heel also. But be careful that you don't get too much heel up on the base this way. It's going to get stepped on. All right. Now, I'm going to read the throw. So I'm reading the throw. I want to be in my legs. I want to bend my knees. I want to anticipate a bad throw. Be ready to move. As I read the throw, I want to stride, okay? You can actually see she moves her foot over a little bit here. But as I read the throw, now I'm going to start to stride. I want to work, make sure that I'm working behind the ball. So a couple mistakes I see with regard to this. First one is they stride too early. 
they think the ball's coming, you know, from over here, so they stride this way. The ball's thrown over here, and now they make it look like a bad throw when they didn't read the ball. All they had to do was read it and stride this way, right? So anticipate a bad throw. Be square. Be ready to move. Be athletic. Don't get lazy. Sometimes fielders first base when they just think they're going to get a good throw every time. It's not going to happen. All right? Now I read the ball. I start to stride out. I stay in my legs. All right? I want to be athletic. Stay in my legs. I'm going to take, if I'm a righty, again, if I'm a righty, I'm going to have my right foot on the bag like we said. I'm going to take my left foot and stride out to the ball. Low. If I'm a lefty, it's just the opposite. I'm going to have my left foot on the bag. I'm going to stride out with my right foot. Low. Make the catch. Okay? So, um, some of those things might be a little bit new. It's tough finding video of first baseman covering the bag and then striding. It's also tough to find video of first baseman doing it correctly. Um, but this is the way that I was taught, and I think it's really helpful. I haven't played a ton of first base during my career, but I've coached first base, and I did play um, I did play some first base at the end of my career. So, um, But I've worked with a couple of coaches that were very, very good coaching the first base position. So um, hopefully that helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video with all your friends. Uh, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And we will talk to you later.